Hello everyone. Welcome to module 10 of the GPU teaching kit. In this module, we're going to introduce a very important parallel computation pattern scan, also known as the prefix sum. In the first lecture of this module, we're going to first introduce the prefix sum computation. The objective of this lecture is for students to master parallel scan or prefix sum algorithms. Scan is a frequently used computation for parallel work assignment and resource allocation. It is a key primitive in many parallel algorithms for converting serial computation into parallel computation. Therefore, it's a, a very much a foundational parallel computation pattern. And uh, we're also going to be using this uh, computation pattern to introduce the concept of work efficiency in parallel code. Much of the material that we're using in this module were contributed by Mark Harris, and I highly recommend that um, students read the uh, article by Mark Harris on parallel prefix sum with CUDA. A scan operation can be either inclusive or exclusive. We're going to start with inclusive scan operation. The definition of inclusive scan operation is that uh, it takes a binary associative operator circle plus and an array of n elements, x0 through xn minus 1. It will return an output array of y0 through uh, yn minus 1, and each uh, y output y element is going to be the uh, accumulated uh, application of the circle plus operator from input element 0 through the same uh, through the input element at the corresponding uh, position as the output element. So um, y0 is going to be just x0 and y1 is going to be x0 circle operate, uh, uh, operator uh, circle plus x1 so uh, essentially, the uh, application of the circle plus operator from x0 to the corresponding uh, uh, input element position of y1. And uh, obviously, uh, y2 will be x0 circle plus x1 circle plus x2, and so on. So the, if we take um, an example where the circle plus operator is an arithmetic addition, then the scan operation on the input array 31704163 will be 3, uh, which is just x0, and 4, which is uh, x0 plus uh, x1, uh, which is 3 plus 1, and then uh, y2 is going to be 11, which is 3 plus 1 plus 7. And then uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, y 3 is going to be 11. And it's 3 plus 1 plus 7 plus 0. So the, again, uh, the, operation, uh, the output y element yi is going to be the repeated um, uh, application of the operator from x0 all the way to x element at the corresponding position. This slide shows a, uh, a typical application for inclusive scan. Assume that we have a 100-inch sandwich that we would like to use to feed 10 people. And we also know that uh, uh, how much each person wants uh, in terms of inches. And um, uh, here we show that the first person wants uh, 3 inches, and the second person wants 5 inches, and the third person wants 2 inches. The question is, how do we cut the sandwich quickly so that we can uh, uh, distribute the, uh, the sections of sandwich uh, to all the people who want uh, a, a section? So, uh, and then the, another question is, after we fed all these uh, people, how much will we have left? So the first method is a sequential method where we can cut each section sequentially. We first cut three inches and give it to the first person. And then uh, we, uh, we take the remaining 
97 inches, we cut the 5 inches to the second person, and then we take uh, the remaining and we take 2 inches, uh, cut 2 inches for the third person, and so on. But then uh, using a scan, we can actually perform a uh, parallel uh, assignment. We can calculate the scan or prefix sum of the, uh, of the, uh, the uh, portion that each person wants. So uh, we, uh, the, the output of the scan operation from the input 3, 5, 2, 7, and so on will be 3, 8, which is 3 plus 5, 10, which is uh, 3 plus 5 plus 2, and so on. And the, fun, the last one will be 61. And um, uh, 61 would be the, uh, the, the total number of inches that all the 10 people collectively wanted. And so we can, uh, uh, at this point, we know that um, we will have 100 minus 61, which is 39 inches left. So this, uh, if we can calculate the, uh, the prefix sum, we actually can, uh, can simultaneously identify all the cut points that we need to make in order to create the 10 uh, portions that uh, each person wants. So if we can uh, perform the, the scan operation very quickly, we can actually uh, enable a method where uh, we can have 10 people, each have, uh, has a knife, and uh, we can tell every person uh, the, um, the, the cut point that the person should be aiming at. The first one should be aiming at uh, the third inch point, and the second person should aim at eight inch point, the third person should aim at 10 inch point, and all of them can just cut in parallel and generate all the ten, uh, 10 sections in parallel. And this is fundamentally the reason why scan operation is very important in uh, converting a sequential uh, computation, which was method one, into a parallel computation, which is method two. In terms of programming, um, we are showing a typical application of scan in uh, writing uh, code. So the, um, uh, in the slide, we see that uh, we have a for loop with a recurrence um, that is in the sequential form. Every iteration, the output j of that uh, uh, iteration is going to depend on output I, uh, j minus 1, which is the output of the previous iteration, uh, plus some kind of function of the uh, that uh, is calculated in the jth iteration. So um, you know, uh, if we look at this, it's a very sequential uh, recurrence computation where we compute the output of one iteration. We go to the next iteration and compute the output for that iteration based on the output of that previous iteration and some results from the current iteration. So it appears that um, the computation is very sequential. Every iteration needs to build on the previous iteration. In order to convert that into parallel code, we're going to use scan operation. And uh, we're going to compute all the, uh, the, the F uh, computation for all the iterations because they don't depend on each other. So we assign them all into a temporary array. And then we do a scan of the on the temporary array and then assign that to an output array. So that uh, uh, if we can do scan in a parallel way, then we can compute the output array in a parallel way. This is uh, you know, the, the, the foundation for uh, formulating sequential computation into uh, parallel uh, computation. And this is a very frequently used pattern that we will be seeing in many uh, parallel uh, computation. And this pattern will be, can be found in the implementation of uh, sorting algorithms, string comparison algorithms, um, you know, the parsing lexical analysis algorithms, and the polynomial evaluation algorithms, and the tree operations, and histograms, and so on. There are many other uh, real-world applications that can benefit from uh, SCAN. Uh, for example, if we need, to, we have a large number of people who want to apply for camp uh, campsite slots. Some of them may need to have 
uh, uh, you know, multiple positions because they have a bigger tent. Some of them may only want to have a small number of uh, you know, uh, slots because they have a smaller can, uh, uh, tent and so on. And uh, you know, the farmer market space, uh, each farmer may have different amount of goods that they want to sell. So some of them may want to have a bigger storefront. Some of them may want to have a smaller small front. And uh, uh, you know, allocating memory to parallel threads so uh, you know what we have a consecutive memory uh, 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 buffer that we can uh, allocate to th the parallel threads. Some of them may need to have larger amount of memory. Some of them may want to have smaller amount of memory. In the communication networks, sometimes we need to allocate memory buffer in uh, in network switches, and uh, among different communication channels. And some of the channels may require. Uh, more uh, buffer, some of the channels may require less buffer. So the, once we understand the needs of all the parties involved in all these applications, we can perform scan operation to, uh, uh, to calculate the cut points of, um, you know, what that we can, uh, we can uh, use f that to simultaneously um, allocate the sections of space, just like how we cut the sandwiches in that uh, first example to all the parties involved. Now we're ready to look at um, a, uh, a program that implements a scan. First of all, we, can, uh, uh, we should uh, look at an inclusive sequential uh, addition scan implementation. Um, the implementation is uh, very simple. Uh, you know, the concept is that uh, we start with uh, uh, output element zero, which is simply input element zero. And then uh, output element one will be uh, x1 plus x0, which is x, plus x1 plus y0. And then uh, y2 will be uh, x0 plus x1 plus x2, which is actually y1 plus x2. So uh, we can use that for a uh, recursive definition where uh, yi is really yi minus one plus k uh, xi. Now that we understand the recurrence re definition, we can work on a C implementation of the sequential uh, scan computation. Here we start with assigning x0 to y0, and then we go into a loop. In uh, every iteration of the loop, we will calculate the current output element by adding the, uh, the previous output element to X, uh, the current input element xi. And we will iterate n minus 1 iterations, and then we will produce the entire output. Notice that this loop is very computationally efficient, meaning that um, for every input element, we're going to be doing one addition and assignment. And this is pretty much as low a computation as one can expect for a algorithm that needs to look at all the input elements. Now we can start looking at the various parallel implementations of scan. We start with a naive inclusive parallel scan implementation. Here we assign one thread to calculate each y element, and we can have every thread to add up all the x elements needed for that y element. For y0, we just get x0. For y1, we get x0 plus x1. For y2, we have x0 plus x1 plus x2. And obviously for yn minus 1, we have x0 plus x1 plus x2 plus da 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 plus x minus 1, n minus 1. And um, uh, this is a very uh, parallel algorithm. And we have lots of threads, and each one is working independent of others. However, this algorithm misses an important point. That is, the parallel algorithm should execute faster than the sequential algorithm. Here, the last thread y, uh, that calculates y n minus 1 actually need to uh, do all the calculation that a sequential scan algorithm needs to do to calculate all the output elements. So we essentially would not have any speed up uh, if we need to wait for all the threads to complete uh, their work. And therefore, 
uh, many people will tell you that um, parallel programming is easy as long as you do not care about performance. Here we have lots of parallelism and we, uh, each thread does independent work, but we are not getting any performance improvement. If anything, with limited resources, we will likely have a slowdown compared to the sequential algorithm. GPU programming. This is the end of the, uh, the introduction to the uh, toolkit. Thank you.